Okay. Just waiting for students. Some students, and it's Kyung Nam, oh, a regular student. Hello, uh, and um, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Um, um, I am Teacher Sam from England. Nice to meet you. Introduce yourself. Nice to meet you too. Yes, my name is Jesse. I'm from Hong Kong. In my free time, I like watching movies and trying different foods. Thank you. Okay, nice to meet you. Welcome to class. Hey, K Yong Nam, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm great teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, I'm from Korea. Mm -hmm. That's it. Briefly introduce My name is K Yong Nam Cho. Okay. Oh, in my free time, I usually watch TV. Sometimes I go hiking, um, and the swimming. Go going swimming. Go swimming. Yeah, I usually go swimming. Great. I usually go running or swimming. I go. I like running. I usually go running, but you usually go swimming. They are very good for exercise. <laughs> Very good for your health. Swimming, hiking, running. It's good for your health. Hello, Omar. Hi, how are you? Hi, everyone. It's very I'm fine. quiet. Thank you. I can't hear you very well. I'm fine. That's a bit better. Uh, Omar, I am from Mexico. Mexico. Uh, I am a study. A student, uh, I study, study computer science. I study computer science. Is that right? Yes. Very, your voice yes. is quiet. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, I like to um, play video games and watch movies. Great. Also, I spend time with my girlfriend. Yes. Okay. Great. Nice to meet you. Let's talk about making requests. Um, so, do you think it's okay to smoke in a restaurant? What do you think this woman would say? Okay. Uh, Kay Young Nam. To say. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think this agrees. Uh, in the restaurant. It's in smoking. Yeah, do you mm, think it's okay? I think uh, to smoke in a restaurant. I'm not okay. No, I don't. I'm not. I'm disagreed. I a, no, I don't think it's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, some people. Mm, and uh, I don't think it's okay. Yeah, I, and the uh, woman say. Mm, mm, do you mind? Uh, do you mind uh, if you go smoking area? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So she might say, "Do you mind? Um, do you mind going outside or going to the smoking area?" Mm. Yeah, that sounds good. Well okay. done, okay, Young. Well, we have another student, so I will speak to you in a moment. Omar, do you think it's okay to smoke in a restaurant? No, I think that it's not nice. I don't think it's no. nice. So, so when we express what we think, we should say instead of saying I think it's not nice, we should say I don't think it's nice yeah so we use the 
the negative first. I don't think it's nice. I don't think it's okay. Right. Sure. Okay. But like, yeah, 30 years ago, maybe 40 years ago, people smoked in a restaurant. <laughs> people smoked on the airplane, smoked on the, in a restaurant, and I guess people, and smoke in the office. I guess people didn't know it was bad for your health. <laughs> really, and um, people accept that it's, it's okay. But nowadays we know it's not good for your health. And so most people choose not to smoke. <clears throat> so it's not okay to do to smoke in public place. Mm, so what do you think the woman would say? I, I think that he say that uh, it's not nice, it's not, it's not healthy. Hmm. She yeah. might say it's not healthy. Maybe. I don't. I. I think. Hmm. I think there's. Everybody knows it's not healthy. I think it's not that smokers don't know. Maybe they just they don't care or they are. They are addicted. So. Yeah. It's. She might say that. Okay, thank you, Omar. And uh, Jesse, what do you think? I think we all must agree. It's, it's, it's not okay to smoke in a restaurant. I don't think anyone thinks it's okay to smoke in a restaurant when you're eating. But, or do you? Maybe you do, uh, Jesse. <laughs> do you think it's, it's okay it to smoke in a restaurant? Depends where you are. Depends where you are. So you think it's okay? In Hong Kong, no. So quiet. Yeah, if in China, uh, the restaurant they have some uh, a small area, so you can sit at the small area, <laughs> then you can smoke at the restaurant. Smoke when you're eating. Some people do that. Yeah. Yeah. In Thailand, pe some people come into m my wife's restaurant and smoke. I think I didn't say anything because it's, it's, <clears throat> it's not my country, it's different culture, different laws, but I think it's kind of rude because other people don't want to smell the smoke. He can easily go outside, <clears throat> it's not raining, it's a very beautiful sunny day. Um, yeah, in my culture that is a bit rude. You can smoke, that's up to you, but um, you should not inflict smoke on other people. <laughs> yeah, when I say in the inflict, it's like give, give them something damaging that they don't want. But that's a good point. Uh, what do you think the woman would say? Uh, if the... The man uh, sitting at the uh, uh, non-small uh, area and the woman will say, could you please put out your secret? Uh, you are not allowed to mm. smoke here and mm. maybe you can sit in other area. Yeah, okay. Can you please put out your cigarette? Um. You're not allowed to smoke here. Yes. Okay, very good. Jesse. Hi, Sachiko. Hello. Hello. Um, uh, yes. Um, in Japan, uh, I'm from Japan. Yeah. And uh, in. <laughs> In Japan, uh, it's not uh, accepted uh, to smoke in a restaurant, but sometimes a restaurant has a uh, area reserved to uh, smoking people. Mm. Uh, in this place, uh, we, we can smoke. Yeah, so we can call them smokers rather than smoking people. Uh, people that smoke. Ah, uh, okay, smokers. Yeah. People that smoke. Okay.
Okay, so they have an area. Okay, we will. Okay, we will go on to the next part because it's, we have a lot to discuss. So, have you ever asked someone to do something you thought they didn't want to do, and what did they say? Hi, Shaylin. Li How do you say your name? Hi. Ah, uh, Shaylin. Shaylin. Just call me Ling. It's okay. Okay. Yes. How? Hi. How are you? Hi. Thank you. Okay. Uh, nice to meet you. So, have you ever asked someone to do something you thought they didn't want to do? And what did they say? Um, huh? I, I I don't understand what you mean. Um, okay, I'm not sure if you can see the screen, but it says, "Have you ever asked someone to do something you thought they didn't want to do?" So, um, you ask someone, "Hey, uh, could you clean my car?" So you thought, well, they don't want to clean your car. Why would they want to? Hey, can you can you clean my shoes? <laughs> or maybe, hey, okay. um, could, you, okay. could you stop? Could you Something stop like smoking? That. I, I understand could, now. Could you stop smoking? They say no. I don't want to. I want to smoke. <laughs> so have you ever asked someone okay. to do something you thought they didn't want to do? Oh, I um, excuse me, uh, could you speak? Uh, excuse me, uh, could you don't sh shout at the restaurant uh -huh. and keep quiet? Yeah. Like that? <laughs> yeah, right. So, that, okay, that's great. But they, yeah, you thought that they, they want to shout. Okay, that's great. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> could you, um, could you not shout so loud? <laughs> it, it does. It's so. Okay, Wilder. Hello. How do you pronounce your name? Wilder, the chef. Oh, Wilder. Yeah. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Indonesia. Oh, nice to meet you. So, have you ever asked someone to do something? Nice to meet you too. Yes, of course. Uh, maybe you can say, "Can I'm sorry. Can you help me to bring myself?" Can you help me to what? Sorry. To bring myself. Bring my stuff. Can you help me to bring? Mm -hmm bring my stuff okay uh, okay yeah maybe you think they they don't want to but you ask them nicely can you help me to bring my stuff please maybe you could say please it might um, it sound more polite please and hi Vivian how are you <clears throat> Hi. Hi. So, Vivian, have you ever asked someone to do something? And what did you say? So how how can you make a pol how can you make a request more politely? So how can you ask someone to do something but make it sound polite? What would you say? Can you keep the place clean, please? Mm, all right. Can you can you keep the place? Clean, please. Okay, so if we use please, it sounds more polite. And if we make a request, we use can. Um, 
Yeah. He's more polite than just saying, can you keep the place clean? It sounds less polite. So you could use these phrases. Um, could you possibly? Would you mind if? I was wondering if. So these sound a lot more polite. Like, I was wondering if you could keep the place clean. Please. You could even add please. It sounds... So, <clears throat> in what kind of situations would you use these phrases? Kyung uh, Nam. Use, use the phrase to make a request. So, think about what kind of situation and what you would say. Could you possibly... Okay. Mm. Uh, could you possibly pick up the children? Okay. You could ask your wife mm. or someone. Yeah, your wife. You have to be very polite with your wife. She might, <laughs> she might snap. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm with my wife. <laughs> could you possibly pick up the children, my, my darling? <laughs> Be very polite. <laughs> uh, pick up the children. And she went, no. Could you possibly pick up the children? Uh, that's very good. Uh, Omar, uh, let's make an example using, would you mind if... Would you mind if... I, would you mind if I sat here, like sat in this chair, or would you mind if I, um, if I, what else could we ask? Would you mind if you uh, move, move up, you're on the, ch on the chair, and would you mind if you move up a little? What else could we say, in what situation, Omar? Hello, Omar. Can you hear me? Okay, I can't hear you at all now, Omar. Please check your microphone. Hey, Jesse, would you mind if... Would you mind if I... Um, I follow your... Uh, if you follow me... Uh, your pen. Would you mind if you, you follow me? Say that again. Oh, you mean I follow. Okay, so follow me. Let me explain about borrow. So borrow is um, f the person give you something. But if you mean, uh, so you want to say, would you mind if you lend me? Lend me your. Lend. What is it? Pen. Let me your pen. Would you mind if? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's change it. Would you mind if I, I borrow your pen? Would you, would you mind if I borrow your oh, pen? I borrow. Uh, okay. Or would you mind if you lend me your pen? Would you mind if you lend me your pen? Or could you possibly lend me your pen? Yeah. So, would you mind if you lend me your pen? So we would normally say, would you mind if I borrow your pen? Mm -hmm. In that case. Because would you mind? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, uh, you could say, I was wondering if you could lend me your pen. I was wondering if I could borrow your pen. So, so let me just write, I borrow your something and you lend me your something. So you lend and I borrow. This is very common mistake. I borrow and you lend. So I, <laughs> well it depends. If I borrow from you, I can also, I can lend to you. Does that make sense? So if from, we use borrow and to, we use lend. That's it, great. Sachiko, 
Uh, how can we use I was wondering if? Let's make an example. Yes, uh, at the workplace, uh, I was wondering uh, if you uh, could uh, make a copy uh, for me. Yeah, I was wondering if you could make a copy for me. Okay, great. That's perfect. So let's. Which of these combinations are correct? Uh, Ling. Uh, a <coughs> uh, number one sorry number one yes which of these combinations I, is inc I, are incorrect okay so you can choose uh, choose one of them that is incorrect uh, number one is correct it's correct would you mind passing me the milk here you go that's correct Good job. Well done. Yes. Well done. What about number two? Is this correct? Would you help me with my bag? Would you help me with my bag, please? Go ahead. No, I think it's not make sense with the answer. Go ahead. Yeah, it's incorrect. Right. Um, you might say something like, sure. Okay. Would you mind help me with my bag, please? Sure. No problem, but not go ahead. Go ahead is would. Can I do something? Sure. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> uh, Vivian, number three. Is this correct or incorrect? Mm. Do my uh, incorrect. Do you mind if I open the door? I'm sorry, I'm busy right now. Um, yeah, that's incorrect because do you mind um, if I, I open the door? But the, I'm sorry, I'm busy. That's incorrect. Right, well done. Yeah. And you are correct. <laughs> the, 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 the combination is incorrect. Kyung Nam, number four. Is it correct? Excuse me, can I borrow ten dollars? I'm afraid I only have uh, five dollars with me. It's correct. It sounds correct, yeah. Could I borrow? And that means from you to me, ten dollars. I'm afraid I only have five dollars, so cannot, right? So that's correct. And uh, the last one, Omar, did you check your microphone? I hear something. <laughs> Is number five correct or incorrect? Okay, again, I can't hear you, Omar. Please check your microphone and your you refresh the classroom. It might help. Refresh the classroom. Yeah, I could say, do you mind if you refresh the classroom? Would you mind refreshing the classroom? It's correct, yeah. It is correct. So what are better answers for number two and three then? Uh, Jesse, uh, if I say, would you help me with my bag, please? Uh, what would you respond? It's not, not go ahead, but what, uh, what could you uh, Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Just sure. It's fine. That's good. And uh, Sachiko, number three, do you mind if I open the door? What would be a better response? Do you mind if I open the door? Uh, it's so hot. Let's open the door, get the air in. Do you mind? Maybe we can yeah. say no, I don't mind. No, go ahead. Um. Does that make No, sense? go ahead. Mm -hmm. So yeah, do you mind? That's in do you do you have a problem with that? Uh no, go ahead. Okay, great. So let's practice this in the conversation. Uh so Let's start with Ling. 
You can be student A. Politely ask student B. Wilder, you are student B. Ask Wilder to help you with something, and Wilder tell that you can't help and give the reason. Okay, and then try to get student B to help you anyway. Okay. Hi, Wilder. Hi, Shai. Yes, I was wondering if you can help me to move something. Move the luggage. Oh, again. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe you can help with other people. I think the luggage is very big and I can help you. Okay. Maybe you can um, you can lift it together. Yes, it just takes you a few minutes. Yeah, but it's heavy. It's heavy, so. Um, but it's very big. It is very heavy. heavy. I can you have it, please? <laughs> um. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, Wilder says it's because it's Pardon heavy. Me? She can't help you. She can't help you because it's too okay. heavy. Okay. Okay. But that's why you need the help because it's heavy. Okay. Maybe I smile at other people. Thank you. Okay. That's yeah, why. Welcome. Yeah. There's not much you can say if it's. Thank too, you. Oh, uh, well done, Ling. Well done, Ling. And well done, Wilder. <laughs> so, yeah. If it's too heavy it's too heavy but um we can't make people do but we can ask them politely and usually they will help if we ask politely and vivian you can be student a and kyung nam you are student b so vivian you ask you ask Kyung Nam to help you with something, and Kyung Nam, you you can't help. So give a reason why you can't help, and be polite because you don't know them very well. Okay, Vivian. Hello. Hello. Can I help you, Vivian? What can I do for you? What can I help you? Vivian? Vivian, you can start off. I was wondering if, or you could say, could you possibly? Uh, I'm student A. Yes. That's why Vivian asked Kyung Nam to help you with something. Um, I was wondering if you can buy me a donut, please. Buy you a donut? You don't know him. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm up. I'm afraid uh, mm, I don't have a uh, hand. You don't have a hand? You have no hand. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have no hands. Well, what are they? Oh, these are not hands. These are just gloves. <laughs> and, and underneath these <laughs> gloves, there are no hands. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I d uh, sorry, I don't have uh, uh, time. Oh, you don't have time. It's uh, I don't have a uh, hand. Is uh, is uh, not same mean? No, no, no. You could say, <coughs> you can say. Can, okay. Can you give me a hand? Can you give me a hand? It means uh, can you help me? But we don't say sorry. I don't have a hand. Um. Yeah. No, we can't say that. 
Um, we, we, we don't use the hand in the response. It's only in the request. Can you give me a hand? Do okay. You, hmm. Do you have a hand? Do you need a Do you need a hand? Uh, for example. So in this case, it, it doesn't. It's not about time. It's about help. Do you need a hand? Means do you need help? Do you need help? So a hand is help. Can you give me a hand? Can you give me help? All right. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it sounds very funny if you say, sorry, I don't have a hand. I don't have a hand to give you. <laughs> we, we, we cannot use that in the response. But, um, okay. I'm so sorry. I, I'm busy. Mm, I'm busy. Yeah. Sorry. I, I can't. You could say I can't give you a hand, but yeah. You, you might say I can't give you a hand, but it's not very common. But if you must use the word hand, I can't give you a hand. Oh dear, um, you have to buy your own donut, Vivian. <laughs> why? Why can't you buy your donut? Sorry. What? Sorry, problem. You, yeah, you will have to buy your own donut. I think that's what you said. So can it's you... Right. I can go to the shop after oh. the class. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Um, yeah. So what? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Please, everybody, uh, check their microphones. They uh, make sure they are clear before the class. Yeah. We. Um, so Jesse, uh, you can be student A. You ask Sashiko to help you. Sashiko, you can't help. Give the reason why. And then Jesse try to get them to help. Try to get Sashiko to help you anyway. Okay, so Jesse, you can ask. Hello, Sashiko. Hello, Jesse. Uh, I was uh, wondering if I could follow your car because my ma wa wants me uh, uh, to drive her to go some countryside uh, because there it's not easy uh, to to take the car when we come back. You need uh, my pen? Car? I want to follow your car, yeah. Ah, mm. uh, you my know. car. Yeah. Um, if I had a car, uh, I would be happy to uh, borrow uh, lend. borrow my car, lend my car, lend my car. But uh, I don't have my car uh, today. <laughs> what are you gonna do, oh, Jesse? Oh, it's okay. No problem. Get you. <laughs> okay. I ask other someone else. Someone else for their car. To help me. Someone you don't know very well. Uh, <laughs> oh, I maybe in your. Maybe, I'm sorry. Or maybe you in your culture is 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 you are very um you know kind and. Uh, uh, very, um, you know, generous. <laughs> but in in England, uh, people will not lend their car to strangers. <laughs> Excuse me, I was wondering if I could borrow your car. Um, who are you? Oh, I'm just the the guy who lives down the road. Oh, uh, oh, okay. As long as you give it back, I mean, <laughs> that should be okay. Could you? Could you? <laughs> You put some pet, put some petrol in it, and um, if you wouldn't mind washing it as well, that would be great. So, okay, thank you. Um, so, oh, okay. <laughs> so, 
that's awesome guys so at least we we know how to request even if what we are requesting is kind of um, unusual but if we've discussed ways to make polite requests and you, you all did very well at that so you give polite answers like I, I'm very sorry but I don't have my car at the moment if if I had my car you could certainly you could borrow it and but I'm afraid it's not here so politely ask someone for help okay before you go I was what is the best way to politely refuse a, a request uh, well duck if you want to refuse a request what is the um, the best way to politely refuse maybe uh, before so we can say uh, excuse me uh, can you help me and then uh, if you want to make a refuse for something uh, normal normal thing I mean so how would you it's a proper thing how to you, have something how would you politely refuse um, but if it's a uh, Excuse me, can you help me to do blah blah blah? But that refuse means refuse means when you say no. So oh, it's, it's, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, uh, refuse is no, it's your right. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, refuse. Uh, I'm sorry. I have something to do. I think I can help you. Yes. I'm busy and etc. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm too busy. Give your reason why you can't help. Oh, uh, yeah, great. So, uh, Vivian, what do you think? What is the best way to politely refuse a request? Let's remember, refuse means to say no, but without saying no. <laughs> sorry? Okay, I can't hear you, Vivian. I'm, I'm afraid. Sorry, uh, Kyung Nam. What, what do you think is the best way to politely refuse a request? Hmm. I think that uh, first, I'm sorry, or mm -hmm. I'm afraid of. Uh, mm -hmm. mm. Not I'm afraid of, but I'm afraid. Is there any? I'm afraid that. I, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. That I'm afraid that. I can't. I'm afraid that I'm too busy. I'm afraid I'm too busy. Sometimes we we can say that, but we don't say afraid of because that's I'm scared. I'm afraid of the the monster. Ah. I'm afraid of the. No, not afraid of, but I'm afraid that I'm too busy. I'm afraid that I don't I have can. time. So just like I'm sorry. Um, you could say, unfortunately, unfortunately, I have to go now. Unfortunately, I don't have time to help you or I don't have the car to lend you <laughs> so unfortunately okay mm. so good Jesse uh, are there uh, situations in your culture when you absolutely cannot refuse a request mm. are there any situations in your culture when you absolutely cannot refuse a request how do you handle that? Oh. Mm. For example, for example, like if maybe your parents ask you to do uh. something, or your grandparents, or um, maybe um, I don't know, the police officer, say, <laughs> and the. Uh, 
You're worried that he might fine you or or put you in prison if you don't uh, follow his request. Pick you up or pick up you, which is correct. Well, pick you up. I I don't I don't know how to handle that. <laughs> You don't if know how the, to handle that. Just do it. Just do what they. You can't refuse. Ah, uh, may, <laughs> maybe if my parents, my parents ask me to do something I I don't want to do, uh, I could say, could I, could I do it next time? And I'm 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 busy right now. Uh, yeah. Maybe you can ask my sisters <laughs> to help you. Yeah, I don't, yeah, maybe in some cultures, um, if some leader asks them, they cannot refuse, I think. Um, how about Sachiko? In, in Japanese culture, uh, is there a situation where you uh, cannot refuse a request? Yes. Uh, it, uh, it, it's not a uh, culture, but uh, at the workplace, uh, when a boss uh, asks you uh, something, uh, it's difficult to refuse his request or her request. Yeah, right. So how do you handle that? You just you, you just do it. <laughs> I explain. Uh, I explain the difficulty to accept uh, her or his request, mm -hmm. and uh, I will give an alternative uh, yeah. solution. Ah, very good. Alternative. Let's write that in the. So yeah, give an alternative solution. That's good. So explain, and. Give an alternative solution, like I can do it, but um, I will have to do it tomorrow, not now because I'm too busy. So that's an alternative solution, or you can ask another colleague. Yeah, great. So well done, everyone. Chung Nam, uh, Jesse, Sachiko, Ling, Wilda, uh, Vivian. Do you have any questions before we say goodbye? Not yet, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, then. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Don't forget to review all the notes and practice these. And uh, have a great day. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, Kyung Nam. Bye, Jesse. Bye, Bye Sachiko. Bye, Ling. Bye, Wilder. Bye, Bye, Bye Vivian. Bye. Bye.